So broadly, as you and your team are, are thinking about what to put in the next three, four, five generations of CUDA, you know, what's, what's foremost in your mind? What are the sort of characteristics that you're thinking about to, to pick design features that are gonna move CUDA forward? I'm really focused right now on the heterogeneity problem. That is, I've got this system where I've got processes which are good at one thing, serial processing, processes which are good at another thing, parallel processing. They're two separate processes and they live with their own separate execution spaces and, and memory and hardware and all, all that kind of thing. And bridging that gap to make it easier for the programmer to reason about what he wants to do and to express what he wants without having to fight the system, uh, that, that's really where I think that the, the biggest advances need to be made. So I'm, putting, I'm spending a lot of time thinking about uh, memory models, okay. for example, making life easier for people who, do, you know, you might not always know what memory you need to move, or you might find it inconvenient to figure out how do I move data while I'm computing on something else, like all, all of those types of things that you have to think about in a heterogeneous system. I've, anything I can do, and I'm really not sure what that is yet, I'm still, I'm still working on this, but I, I really see the direction such that where I, whatever, whatever we can do to make that easier will make the system easier to program. And I think inevitably in the future, there is a, th there is a place where you've got specialist processes working on the task for which they are ideally suited, because that gives you the best performance for the power that you've got, the best performance for the silicon that you put in there. It probably will solve your problem faster. Yeah. You know, if you've got a massively parallel processor, do your parallel work on it. But it means that you've now got this, si this space where the programmer is no longer thinking about one type of program. He has to think about two or three or four or, or however many disparate things he's got. And you know, I've not yet seen a great solution to this, but you know, we're working towards trying to find one.